In this movie, I'll continue from where I stopped previously, and now we'll learn how to create boundaries depending on the stage width and height. So if I want my circle to zoom in until it touches one of the boundaries of the stage, I want it to stop zooming. So let's start off by opening up our Actions panel, and we'll remove the if statements. and all of these as well okay now let's first create a boundary for the left side of the stage again it's going to be an if statement so if now how do I find out that the edge of my circle has touched the boundary of the stage I can use the stage width the circles width and the circles X position So pay attention here. If C dot width divided by two is less than stage dot stage width and then minus stage dot stage width minus C dot X. That means that if the half the width of my, cir of my circle, which is starting from this point onward, uh, so the left edge of my circle, is less than this entire area minus this area. So as long as half the width of my circle is less than the width of the entire stage minus this area right here, I want it to be I want this to set the scale X of my circle and the scale Y equal to the or multiplied by the E dot scale X and E dot scale Y properties. So I'll set my opening and closing curly braces here. So control enter to test. Go touch and gesture, touch layer, and then zoom. And as we can see, we have reached the left edge of the stage, and now my circle has stopped zooming at all. We don't want that to happen. But now we know that the left, uh, the left boundary of my circle has been set. Now we'll fix the problem that we can't zoom anymore. So we'll create an else. That is if c dot, uh, c dot width over 2 is greater than or equal to all of this then we'll set the width of the circle equal to its current width minus 1 so else c dot width is equal to c dot height sorry height this will be equal to C dot width minus 1 semicolon to end your statement so now uh, the width of my circle and the height will never be exactly equal to this so this condition will always remain valid so at any given point, I can still zoom in and zoom out uh, the circle uh, within this uh, boundary, of course. So control enter to test. Go to my touch and gesture, touch layer, then zoom. As we can see, we can still zoom in and zoom out, even if we reach the left edge of the stage. Now we'll do the same thing for the right edge. We'll put the second condition within the first if statement. So if c dot width over 2 is less than all of this and c dot width over 2 is also less than stage dot stage width 
minus c dot x. What this means is if the if half the width of my circle is less than all of this area minus this area. So this sets the bound for the right edge of the circle to be the right edge of the stage. So now if it's within uh, if the scale, the width of the circle is within this boundary which is the left edge of the stage and this boundary which is the right edge of the stage then this scale x and scale y property will happen. Now the else statement is still valid for the second condition because we're still decreasing the width of the circle by one for both cases so the width of the circle will never be equal to this. It will always be less than this. So control enter to test we can see that the left edge of the stage is still a boundary. Let's move our circle a little bit to the right. Okay, control enter to test again. And what do you know? The right edge of the stage is now a boundary as well. And now to set the upper and lower boundaries uh, of the circle to be the upper and lower extremities of the stage. So again, inside the, the same if statement, we'll write another AND. And then the upper boundary, we can set this by writing C dot width over 2 is less than c dot y. That simple. So as long as half the width of the circle is less than, I'm sorry, that's uh, less than the y position of the circle. And now for the lower extremity of the stage, so another end, c dot width, you guessed it, over 2 is again less than stage dot stage height minus c dot y so now let's first set our circle near to the lower boundary of the stage now control enter just really hard to see because of the limitations of the screen but it's pretty obvious that when, I'm, when now I try to zoom in sorry let's try that one more time control enter again touch and gesture touch layer zoom okay as we can see, the lower boundary of the stage is now a boundary for zooming. I can't go past the lower boundary of the stage. Again, the same for the upper boundary of the stage. I just move this like so and control enter test. Touch and gesture, touch layer, and then zoom. As we can see, the upper boundary of the stage is now also an upper bound for zooming. Let's finish this by making the circle draggable, so I don't have to go to the stage and adjust the position of the circle every time I need to move it from boundary to boundary. So we'll add another event listener to my circle. So C dot add event listener going to be a mouse event dot all uppercase mouse underscore down and the function will be called pick up
and again let's copy this paste it's going to be a mouse underscore up event and the function again will be called let go so let's create those two functions function pick up its event variable is a mouse event colon void and then to start dragging the circle around there's a property here we can access called start drag so c dot start drag semicolon to end your statement and this function simply allows us to drag the circle around whenever we hold down our mouse because this event this uh, function is being triggered by a mouse underscore down event again let's define same way let's define the let go function so function let go event variable is a mouse event colon void then c dot you guessed it stop drag semicolons in your statement now let's test our movie go to my touch and gesture event now to use the mouse we can turn on the touch layer now I can move my circle around however I want let's set this close to the right edge of the stage now let's turn on my touch layer and click on zoom as we can see the right edge of the stage is a boundary for zooming in again let's turn the touch layer off let's put the circle closer to the left edge of the stage turn the touch layer on and zoom in as you can see I can't zoom in past the left edge of the stage let's do it quickly for the upper and lower edge of the stage pretty simple yet a very powerful application that we did here so now you know how to zoom in and zoom out how to set boundaries depending on the stage itself and how to click and drag objects on your stage by the way we can also use touch events for clicking and dragging by using the touch underscore begin and touch underscore end event listeners and just a final note that Whenever you could use mouse events instead of touch events, it would be much better because, because touch events consume a lot of memory, while mouse events don't. So we could have used touch underscore begin and touch underscore end to drag our circle around the stage, but that would consume more, more, uh, more memory on a mobile device. And mobile devices' memories are kind of limited so when you're building a huge application you need to save as much memory as possible so whenever possible use mouse events and not touch events this is by the way recommended by adobe itself